the next missile that slips past the world's most advanced air defenses doesn't come from the United States, Russia, or China, but from Iran. In recent months, Iran has unveiled what it claims to be a next-generation stealth cruise missile, engineered specifically to survive and strike inside heavily contested airspace. A weapon designed not just to fly far but to stay unseen, confuse radars and overwhelm tomorrow's integrated air defense systems. But here's the real question. Is this missile a true game-changer or strategic signaling wrapped in stealthy marketing? Now, we break it all down. Modern air warfare has changed dramatically. Airspace is no longer defended by a single radar or missile battery. Today's battlefields rely on integrated air defense systems, or IADS layered networks, combining long-range radars, airborne sensors, electronic warfare, and interceptor missiles. Systems like Patriot, S-400, David Sling, and Aegis are designed to detect, track, and destroy threats long before they reach their targets. For Iran, Penetrating these defenses using traditional ballistic missiles has become increasingly difficult and predictable. That's where stealth cruise missiles enter the picture. They fly low, maneuver unpredictably, and can exploit radar blind zones making them one of the hardest threats to stop. According to Iranian defense sources, this new cruise missile incorporates several key features, low observable airframe shaping, radar absorbent materials, terrain hugging flight profiles, advanced inertial and satellite guidance, terminal phase maneuvering. Iran claims the missile is optimized to operate in contested electromagnetic environments, meaning it's designed to function even under heavy jamming and electronic attack. If true, this would represent a significant evolution from earlier Iranian cruise missiles like Sumar Hoveza and Pave. But claims alone don't win wars. So let's examine what really matters. Stealth isn't invisibility. Low observable missiles reduce detection rate. They don't eliminate it. Advanced air defenses rely on multiband radars, passive sensors, and data fusion from multiple platforms, including ground-based radars, airborne early warning aircraft, naval sensors, space-based surveillance. For Iran's missile to succeed, it must delay detection long enough to overwhelm defenders or force them into reactionary launches. That's why speed, altitude and flight path matter just as much as stealth shaping. Iran's missile appears optimized for low altitude sea skimming, terrain masking over land, non-ballistic, unpredictable routes. This doesn't guarantee penetration, but it raises the cost of interception. And in modern warfare, cost matters. One of the most underestimated aspects of modern missiles is guidance resilience. Iran has invested heavily in inertial navigation backups, anti-jamming satellite guidance, scene matching and terrain contour systems, AI-assisted flight correction. This allows missiles to continue their mission even if GPS signals are disrupted. Additionally, Iranian sources suggest the missile can deploy electronic countermeasures, potentially confusing radar tracking or interceptor guidance during the terminal phase. If combined with swarm tactics or saturation launches, even advanced defenses could be pushed to their limits. Not defeated, but stressed. This missile isn't just about technology, it's about deterrence messaging. 
Iran understands it cannot match Western Air Force's aircraft for aircraft. Instead, it focuses on asymmetric denial, making any strike against Iran more costly, complex, and uncertain. A credible stealth cruise missile threatens fixed military bases, air defense nodes, naval assets, critical infrastructure, it forces adversaries to spread defenses thinner, increasing operational strain, and that alone reshapes regional calculations.